Hi, Year 10s. Um, I'm Miyamo Siura Bradley. Most of you know me already. I'm going to be delivering your three uh, lessons this week on uh, online, less, um, online learning. The topic we're looking at this, uh, the beginning of the spring term is school. And we're starting off with Las Asignaturas, which is the subject. So you can see there the objectives for our, our lessons this week. Um, looking at school subject, writing complex opinions, and throughout the week we'll be setting targets on how to improve further. Now, you need to bear in mind that some of you, um, 10D, or no, 10B, for example, you're starting off periods one and two today. So you have your double lesson today, your single lesson tomorrow, wh whereas 10A, has lesson period four today and they're double tomorrow and I then would see 10D on Thursday and Friday. So you're going to have to um, share out the work a little bit. I'm going to be posting um, lessons one and two, or sorry, lessons one, two and three. Um, two and three go together. Um, so you'll have to today you'll start off with lesson one and then switch to lessons two and three and spread those out for tomorrow as well. We're going to start off by looking at uh, about school subject. Um, as we go through this PowerPoint, what I want you to do is to pause it when you need to, to do the task, and then start it up again. But I'm going to just sort of pause briefly, but not not stop the video. Um, but you need to go back and do listings again as and when you need to. Okay, so first thing we've got here three three groups. I'd like you to put these subjects into, please, and then translate. So, tenemos la geografía, la informática, el dibujo, lots of different subjects there. Please put them into three groups and then translate them to make sure you know what they all mean. Okay, off you go. Okay, so assuming you've done that, you should now have three groups of subjects. I've put them into these groups here, which I decided on by looking at um, whether they were masculine, feminine, or plural. So we've got la geografía, la física, la música, and so on. All the um, my cat has just got on sale. So, uh, all the feminine subjects to go first, and then the masculine ones. And on the right hand side, you have the plurals. You should know what all of those mean, and you should have written them all down by now. So we've got most, a lot of cognates there. Um, the one I would thought would be more difficult, el comercio, is business study. And los idiomas on the right hand side at the bottom of the list there is languages. Okay, so the subjects you may do at school. Now moving on, opinions. And these are really familiar to you in year 10. You'll have done all these lots of times in years 7, 8 and 9. Um, you have these basic ones here. Can you please copy these down and just remind yourself of the meanings, which are here. Course, the grammar point there, of course, is if, if you like or love or hate, no, sorry, like, love or really like something or more than one thing, you have the N at the end. So, me encantan is for more than one thing. Me gustan is I like more than one thing. Odio and detesto are different. They don't need to have the pronoun in front, me. Um, they are just verbs in their own right. Okay, so once you've copied those down, move on. Some key phrases here that you're going to be using in this topic. Uh, I've given you the English and I'd like you please to, to come up with the Spanish. So I suggest you spend five minutes um, deciding here. You have different tenses. Um, I've got, I prefer, I study, I have, I chose, I decided. Those are going to be in the preterite tense. So please have a good think about that. It'll take you possibly seven or eight minutes thinking about it to Look up and conjugate the verbs. Okay, so hopefully you've paused there as long as you needed to, and here are the corrections. Prefiero. Me interesa. Me interesa if it were more than one thing. I study is estudio. I have. Tengo. A bit more difficult now looking at the preterite tenses. Um, I chose. It's Elegí. You may um, elegir is the verb there in the infinitive. Elegí is I chose. I decided to study. The infinitive of to decide is decidir, so it's decidí estudiar. With the pressure it turns there. And then it or they bore me. Me aburren. 
or mere burri if it's one thing. So again, you need to have, so I'm just moving my cat. You need to make sure that all of those things are written down in full. Um, and I'm expecting you to pause the video as and when you need to, to do that. Okay, so assuming that's been done, we're gonna move on to a reading here. This should take you about five minutes, I should think. Um, please put the um, title, Vamos a leer. And then there are eight sentences. I want you to have a look and see if you can determine which subject is mentioned. Are the opinions positive or negative? And make sure you look up any words you don't understand. Most of these are pretty straightforward. Um, I forgot to say at the beginning, can you please use a red pen to correct any work that you need to, if there are any uh, omissions or corrections you need to add? Okay, so five minutes please to do this exercise. Okay, so you can unpause your video now and here are your answers. We had um, Espanol is Spanish, it was a positive opinion. Geografía, geography. Ciencias, matemáticas. Comercio, teatro. Informática. So I've just put P or N for positive or negative. The last one there was art. El dibujo. So it was a positive opinion. Just looking back at where you determined whether they were positive or negative, we had, sorry, Neither was your first adjective there, entertaining. Aburrida, boring. So the first one positive, the second one negative. Complicadas, complicated, negative. Um, difíciles is a negative adjective, but look at the negative in front as well. It's not difficult. So I love maths because it isn't difficult. <laughs> Practico, a positive opinion there. It's a, it's a practical subject, which is why they like it. Me encanta, I love uh, el teatro porque es divertido, most overused adjective probably in language. It means fun. Here we go, I don't like something. Although fácil is a positive adjective, the opinion is negative because it isn't easy. And the last one there is useful. So that would have given you the... Sorry, my computer. Right, let's just go through those again. We've already corrected that. Now, here you need to use the sound file, which is posted in Google Classroom for you to use. So this is the sound file from the, the exercise from lesson one. Um, so once you've done this, please work through it. You're listing out the subject, the day, and the opinions um, to do this. Okay, now the, I'm just going to pause for a second here. Okay, so we're going to correct listening um, in the, when I get a chance, like the, um, the correction file has gone missing. So we will come back to that one. But hopefully you have five subjects, five days, and 10 opinions, because there are two opinions about each one. Okay reading exercise now. Um, I think you're going to need about 10 or so minutes for this. I want you to read through it thoroughly. I want you to note down any new vocabulary. And what you're looking out for is what does Louise like and dislike? And Rafa, who's his friend, what does he like and dislike? Other opinions they have in common. So have a look at those and write down as much information as you can under those headings. Likes and dislikes for both of the, the boys and maybe something that both like things they have in common okay so again pause the video spend about 10 minutes there note down any new vocab as well okay so if you've um, now restarted the video and you're listening because you've done the list the the reading exercise um i just want to go through this and and, and analyze it together so this is um likes and dislikes me llamo luis y mi mejor amigo del instituto se llama rafa so his best friend is called rafa my favorite subject is uh, biology biología because it's interesting porque es interesante y porque me encanta el mundo animal so el mundo is the world 
the um, El, uh, La Copa Mundial is the World Cup. If you ever hear that being talked about, um, and so he loves biology because it's interesting, and because he loves the animal world, the animal kingdom. Pero a Rafa no le interesan demasiado las ciencias. So Rafa doesn't or isn't as interested in sciences. Now the grammar point here, if you have a look where the cursor is now, pero a Rafa. So if you're talking about somebody liking something, we have me gusta, te gusta, le gusta, he or she likes. But if you mention the person who likes something, then you have to have a in front. So a Rafa no le interesa, a mi madre no le, no le gustan los perros, and so on. So he doesn't like, he isn't interested in sciences, he prefers artistic subjects such as art or music. The uh, subject that Rafa likes least, que, uh, que menos le gusta, is history, porque odia memorizar datos y fechas. Now, memorizar is obviously to memorize, but datos is not dates, fechas is dates. So you need to be careful here, datos is data. Um, uh, or Dayton, so it's um, facts, I suppose. He hates uh, memorizing facts and dates. And then the last bit here, a los dos nos gustan. Now, some of you will have misread that for no, but it's actually nos, it's the um, indirect object pronoun that comes before the verb gustar to say that we like. So, both of us, the two of us, we like languages. Porque nos interesa viajar y aprender cosas sobre otras culturas. And they like languages because they're interested in traveling and learning things about other cultures. Okay, so quite a good listening, uh, reading there. And if you've got all that information, well done. Hopefully you've written down quite a significant amount there. You are going to have to um, submit work. So I do need to see that you've uh, done these tasks fully. Okay, now you're going to finish off today. Um, I'm actually going to change that slide for a second. I'm going to change the number of words. If I just find it. Okay, uh, it shouldn't be 150. I'm going to make that 90. Um, so 90 words there, please. And I'd like you to think about, when you have certain subjects, so you've um, seen him, uh, I can't remember his name, um, Louis talking about when he has certain subjects. So we've got here tengo matemáticas los martes y los viernes. Tengo español el lunes y el miércoles, for example. Um, maybe the times that you could add in there as well. Express a variety of opinions. So what do you love? What do you hate? What do you prefer? Remember, if you are talking about a subject, you have maths or you have Spanish or you have geography. Then it's tengo matemáticas, tengo español, tengo geografía. But if you're saying you love something or you like it or you hate it, indeed, you have to have the definite articles. Me encanta el español, me gusta la geografía. Extend your phrases using por qué uh, and, say, and give me some reasons why using the adjectives you saw before. Make them agree with what you're describing and try and get your other your friend's opinions in too. So remember that a. Ah, that you're going to need if you're doing that. Use connectors and qualifiers and quantifiers to develop your answers and you're going to need to spend um, 20 minutes on that. Now this may take you, because these lessons necessarily overlap, it may take you into lesson two. And that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm to asking you by the end of the week, the end of lesson three, to submit work um, um, for, for this particular bit. So um, you have time to spend a little bit more on it if you like. Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. We're going to move on to lesson two in a moment. If you um, pause the video for as long as you like and then move on to 10B, because we're doing the double today, uh, the first day, um, move on to the next uh, lesson. Okay.